morning, I'm Tia from Calm Creations and today is the first episode of a ser new series I'm starting called Make It Monday. I'm going to be showing you how to make two beanies, so the same style but in two different ways. So you can see there one's just plain and then the other one's got a little top knot. I'll be providing a free template for you on my website at calmcreations.com, that's calm with two A's. So you'll be able to go and download those and print them off. So that's what they look like. Okay, and then print them off, cut them out and place them on your fabric. So what you need to make sure is that the stretch is going across. So there they are cut out. And then you're also going to need, if you're going to make both, you need two pieces measuring 15 and a half inches by five inches. So those will be for the bands. So I'm going to turn the camera around now and I'll show you how we put them together. So we'll be using the overlocker um, to make these. They just whip up so quickly. So let's get started. Right, so the first thing that we're going to do is sew together our short ends. So we've got our long strip, we're going to fold it over. We're going to sew together our short ends of the band. Now we'll start with the plain beanie. We're going to put right sides together, hitch everything up. And we're just going to sew around the outside of the top of the beanie, nice and easy. And just go really, really slow. So that's that one all done, all around the edge. <clears throat> now the second one is exactly the same. We're going to start with our fabric right sides together just match everything up you can pin it if you want to um, I find it's just easy enough to put it through without pinning this fabric's pretty forgiving it's a, a knit fabric <laughs> So you can see I've gone all the way around the edge there, making sure that you've caught both sides and that's all done. So the next part is to trim all your tails. Sorry, I forgot my scissors. Trim all your tails. So we'll take one of the band pieces and we're going to fold it in half so that the right side is facing outward. So you're going to do these both the same with both pieces. Now, beanie right side out. Just running our fingers along the inside of that seam so that it's nice and round. Doesn't really matter at this stage because we're only going to be adding the band on. And do the same with the top knot beanie. Okay, so we'll start with the smaller one. Now the process for joining these is exactly the same. So we're going to take the band and we're going to match it up with the seam and we're going to put it in through the through the hat and lining everything up. So all your raw edges are together. Okay, so that's what that part is looking like. 
okay so every if you want to add pins or clips at this stage you can my overlocker doesn't seem to like very much bulk it's a bit it goes a bit off track so I like to just join my seams together and with a with a clip and then it doesn't seem to mind so much okay so now we're going to add the band join the band all the way around Okay, and there we have the first one all done. How easy was that? Okay, now we do the top knot beanie exactly the same way. So we're going to put it in through the loop. No, we're not. We're going to go that way. So that all our raw edges are lined up and our seams are lined up. You'll only have one seam on the band. And you can add a clip there to hold it. And then just match it all the way around. Just line up all those raw edges. And we're going to so all the way around again. Okay. And then we have our little top knot beanie with the band all sewn on. So you can see that's there nicely. And then all we do is tie a little knot in the top. And just pull it down towards that, the tip. And then we have another lovely little beanie. Okay, so we're all done. I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial um, on how to make the Spencer beanies. So they're all finished and they will, you can fold the band up if you prefer. That's why I chose to make the band a little bit wider so that you can either have it up or down. You can, uh, whichever way you want to wear it or have the baby wear it. So these are designed for a three month old. Uh, the pattern can easily be adjusted uh, to suit uh, a bigger baby. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you all again next week for our next Make It Monday. Thank you.